Hey everyone. All right, so just to update you on a project that I started in my bathroom here. Um, sorry, it's a disaster right now, but this is what it currently looks like. I am doing a, a board and batten across the whole bottom. Um, it's about six, uh, four and a half feet high. Um, so far, I'm gonna be doing that. And then the top part, I actually got um, a 3D brick wallpaper that I really think is cool. I think that's going to look awesome. And so the whole bottom is going to be white. Um, so right now I'm just starting on the board and batten, um, cutting the pieces, um, and I'm getting doing that. So I cut them the board and batten. I cut it four um, feet long. I got eight pieces, eight feet pieces, and I got the I cut them in half for four feet long. So there I can use two for one batten. Um, and a little trick that I saw uh, on the internet because I. So the trick is that I cut the bottoms at a 45 degree angle um, to match up to the existing baseboard. I am not taking down this baseboard. Um, it's not old baseboard, um, number one. And number two, I'm gonna be doing the hallway too. And I, I'm not gonna just, so I'm not gonna take down all the baseboard. That also saves uh, money and some wood because um, then I don't have to buy, uh, that's less that I have to buy. Um, so yeah, so uh, the 45 degree angle, the bottom, and it meets up to the baseboard, existing baseboard, um, and it looks really good. Okay, so Oliver uh, woke up from his nap, so I'm gonna get him some to eat. Um, but I finished uh, this wall. Um, well, not finished, finished, but I gotta do the top, the top board first. Um, the issue with this uh, sink is I'm not doing um, boards here because this sink we're gonna actually be replacing it at some point. So I can always add um, the boards there. I'll do the top cross piece here and maybe one in the corner. Um, but for now, that's gonna. Be Continue on to this side, um, and then I have to do behind the door here. Um, so that's how it's going so far. So I got this much done. I got to do the, oops, sorry for the light, top pieces. Um, and then I got to get everything all painted. Then I'll get everything all painted up um, white, uh, gloss white on the bottom. Um, and I got some spackled the nails because I don't want to see the screws. Uh, I did screws instead of nails. Um, so we are moving along. Okay, so I pretty much got the board and batten done um, as far as putting it up uh, in the bathroom. I have one piece to do across the top here, and I did end up putting a piece there. It just didn't look right to me. I was like, I got to get something there. Um, um, but I'll do this piece tomorrow because I got to take this cabinet down, and it's full and it's heavy. It's getting late tonight, so I'm just going to do that tomorrow. Um, and um, there is a cabinet going underneath here, so I didn't have to put a piece down. Um, so that a cabinet's. Uh, so that, so yeah, there's a cabinet in there. Um, so and this part over here, the measurement wise is off, um, but there's nothing I could do about it because I had the the switch here, um, the plug here, and the switch here, and where the um, um, so just where the um, studs are and stuff. It's just the way it worked out. I, I hadn't, I couldn't help it. That's how this part's going to look. Um, but I, I look, it still is going to look super um, great. And then I'll be able to put the brick on top. So the brick will go on top. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so back to the bathroom here. Um, everything, all the holes are um, covered up and sanded. So I'm getting ready to paint. Um, I got these two shelves. So I'm going to be hanging over the uh, toilet. And right now I'm working on this cabinet. Um, it is an old record cabinet. Um, not my color, not really my style. Um, but I'm going to transform it into a vanity for underneath the sink. Um, now the sink is a wall mount sink. Um, I like the sink, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but I'm just going to slide, actually just slide this uh, vanity underneath it. I'll um, poly it so it doesn't get destroyed over the water. Um, so right now I'm just, uh, I have it backed up to here. Uh, so I know because in fact, it's actually the perfect height to and depth everything just kind of worked out I was like, well Why spend money on something new when I got this and I can put some doors on it and kind of just transform it because um, it is solid wood so uh, Right now I'm just measuring of where I have to cut because I do have to cut some of it of uh, the back out in order to be able to slide um, this over all the pipes um, so I'm just uh, kind of marking out, I'm just measuring 
depth wise and length wise um, so I can figure out in the back where to cut it and then just reinforce a little bit of the back so that I can use the shelving in there. Um, so that's where I am at right now and I will uh, get back to you as soon as I'm done cutting it up and then I slide it in and see what it looks like, see what adjustments we have to make. Um, and uh, if it's too much for me, I'll wait for hubby to get home from work and he can do it. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> I got the uh, cabinet cut um, and fit into place. I think I can cut it a little bit more in the back so that it gets pushed back a little bit. It's a little bit far from the wall in the back, so I do have to do that. Um, so, But it fit in pr pretty nice, actually. And like I said, it just slid right underneath. The height was like to the T perfect. Um, so it, it, maybe it was meant to be. Um, I have uh, doors outside that I'm going to go um, look at. So um, I got some doors, well, wood pieces that I'm making into doors. Um, so I got to go measure them just to double check. Um, and so far, um, that's it. Like I said, I still have to paint the final coat, um, hang up a light, put new... Um, so let me go look at those doors and see what I can get accomplished uh, while he is still sleeping. All right, check back in. Good morning, all. Um, so I'm just giving you an update on the bathroom. Um, I got the doors on and the cabinet painted. Um, I don't know if you can really see the color. It's, this is only the first coat. I do need a second coat on here, but I'm really loving the color. It is a, um, Clarks and Kensington, um, from Ace Hardware. It's called Play It Cool. Um, it's more of like a greenish beige, I want to say. Um, it's got some green undertones to it. Um, but it's, it's like a taupe, I guess. But I love the color. It's going to be going in the hallway as well because um, I'm doing the board and batten on the, in the hallway uh, with this color on top. Um, so, yeah, so um, I got to paint the hinges black. Um, I have knobs for it. Uh, I have not. Uh, I didn't buy knobs. I'll just paint. Uh, not knobs. Hinges. I'll just paint um, these. Um, so, yeah, um, this. Hi, Papa. This whole cabinet was free. Um, I, I have the cabinet. I have, um, I made the doors out of the wood we have. Hinges were here. Knobs I had left over from the kitchen cabinets. Um, so it, it's coming out real good. Um, the, uh, I'm almost done with the wallpaper. I got a little bit left to go. And I'm just waiting for some of the fixtures to come in that haven't come in yet. Um, I guess uh, everything's taking a little bit longer than expected. So that's it. And... I'm going to finish this cabinet today, hopefully, and uh, you guys can see what it's going to look like. But yeah, the uh, Clarkson Kensington paint line at Ace is, is uh, really, really nice. I'm really enjoying them. Um, Ace does have um, Benjamin Moore, too, um, which is obviously a super great paint. The only thing is, is it's expensive. And I have, I honestly find Clarkson Kensington very comparable, and I haven't had an issue with painting anything with them. Um, so I'm going to continue to get them. Um, so, yeah. All right, so I will catch up with you guys later today and uh, keep you posted on the progress that we're making around. Oh, hi. The progress we're making around here. Later. Okay, <clears throat> so carrying on with the bathroom here, I am going to paint the mirror the same color as I painted the vanity because um, I really love that color and the vanity and I think that I need to bring it somewhere else in the space um, so I'm just going to make the mirror the same color so that they kind of look like a matching pair like a set um, I, I, again I love this color it's a Clarks and Kensington um, Play It Cool from Ace Hardware um, and I can't wait to do the, some of the hallways in it too because the hallway I'm doing the uh, board and batten on the bottom I'm um, like the bathroom and then the top I'm gonna do this color and I am I'm so excited this is a great color I haven't found a color that I really really love in a long time and um, this is one of them it is on the darker side I wouldn't paint a whole room this color I will I mean you could I guess if it's a nice bright and big open room um, but uh, I, I like the uh, details um, the accent color I like this as an accent color really nice um, all right so I'm doing so, uh, sorry, I got cut off there. I'm going to paint the mirror and uh, let it dry, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so I painted the mirror uh, to match the cabinet. I'm so glad I did. Um, it really just kind of brings everything together uh, more. Um, so everything's just coming out great. I'm so excited. I do have to fix the cabinet. The top part, it looks unfair. 
finished um, you can see like the hole in the top so I have a, a piece of molding small piece that's gonna go across the top um, but I painted the hinges black um, and the, put the knobs on um, so I think it's just gonna look cool it looks a little rustic it's not like perfect and elegant but I think it's gonna fit great um, especially since it was free really um, so the new light fixtures still didn't come in yet I got all the new towel racks the stuff for the back um, so I'm still waiting for stuff to come in the mail so I can finish um, the rest of the wallpaper so but I'm really glad I decided to paint the mirror uh, it looks fantastic um, and it matches really good and the color again one of my favorites awesome if you like this video and you want to see more hit like and subscribe and I'll have more DIY for you